MCF. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Let us pray. Precious God, we come before your presence. Once again, we give thanks unto you and adorations. We pray, mighty God, that uh, in your mercies, May the words of my mouth and the meditation of all our hearts be acceptable unto you, our rock and our redeemer. And I pray, Almighty God, that the way that shall be spoken this morning and the way that shall be heard be your word. For we ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The theme for our reflection this morning is entitled, Arise and Shine, for your light has come. Arise and shine, for your light has come. Ima, Varika, Abiruvengeshime, Pantulu, Tolove, Nanwisa. Arise and shine, for your light has come. Definitely, when we look at the words as a ezek, uh, solid. Isaiah uses the very words in the call to worship that we had today, chapter 9, verse 2. He's talking to the community. When he says, arise, he's simply saying, shine, meaning you go and work, exploit, and do everything that you can do. Because the light has come. Your eyes have been opened, and you are able to see that which you can do. I think that's what the theme is. About. You know, for those who've watched TB Joshua before, imagine you are seeing Isaiah in a community of hopelessness. Imagine you are seeing Isaiah speaking like you used to see T.B. Joshua predicting things that will happen in, in the future. Imagine. I'm not here to confirm whether what T.B. Joshua he was a true prophet or not. That's your business. But I'm saying imagine you were there and Isaiah is in the community. And which community in particular Jerusalem, in Palestine, and what is the context, and to who is he talking to? What are the issues that arise in the community where Isaiah is giving such kind of a prediction? It is a community of Jews where people have syncretized their faith. Abantu na weka la mungu community ya China Israel. Pari kalaka shita weke ele bala tunawa tila uwa endele ntanga na no achitreshani. Achimwa fide nta ntanga na no. Wea wanu leki ya kulefti ili mungshidei. Ya kulaiti ili mungshidei. Mba wangu kwendo mse wayo leku lecha la chitika nchinshi kupanduka. The situation you have about Israel, yeah, if you feel it. I mean, most of them, they actually abandoned the, the statutes of the Lord. Abandoned their faith, abandoned what they believed in. In one minute, they will appear as very religious people. They will take their tithes to the temple. They will do what the temple demands. They will do whatever religion is, demands. Because it was survival of the fittest. Others, for them to survive, they also at the same time pursued evil means of acquiring status, evil means of acquiring wealth, evil means of making sure that they survive in that community. While in Avalechula, at the hands of those people, who had wealth and had the power and the status. Bamonga Barone Shama situations Yavo, there were situations like they will never come out of their situation. 
it is to that community. Aeko Isaiah let us predict Alelanda. And HY Shirelanda, what he said, it came to pass after 700 years. Hello, Chai Shirebunek. And of course, he was talking about the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. He's saying, Your situation is temporal, but I can see. And what I can see is light coming. But that light, it has come. So arise and shine wherever you are because I can see that light coming. I'm sure uh, uh, it is coming out of that context. Just like Isaiah's time, even today, there are many issues that have confronted humanity. And the UCZ in this conference has been saying, you are called at a time such as this. Other issues that they confront you, Number one, we are all aware that the Zambia we live in, it is not the Zambia that we saw in the 60s and the 70s and the 80s. Today, the Zambia we are living in is a Zambia that is slowly and the Christians are watching. It is dividing itself in regions. And the tribe has become a basis on which the intelligence of somebody can be measured. Tribe has become a basis on which decisions are made now. Tribe has become a basis on which one can be employed. Tribe has become a basis on which one can acquire leadership in the church. Tribe has become an issue for who would become whoever you want to become in this country. And slowly, all of us as Christians, we are watching. And the people that are perpetrating such kind of behavior, some of them, Others in the others in the others are bishops, and they are in the forefront to divide dividing the country. The other lesson is that when you talk of the gap between the rich and the poor, certainly the gap between the rich and the poor in this country, it has be, it has come as a result of many factors. One fact, yes, it is attributed to laziness. To those who don't want just to work. They just want to be at home. They want to receive handouts. And each and every time, want to have enough longer for them to survive. The other extreme, it is those who are perpetrating poverty in our communities as a result of failure to read the scripture appropriately and translate the scripture so that it can work for our society and we use our God-given ingenuity, God-given energies to exploit all the resources that we have for the benefit of our communities and our families. The third extreme that perpetuates poverty in this country is the social stratification and the hierarchy and injustices that come with the systems that uh, we've allowed uh, to perpetrate what, uh, how we live life in our country. They are born naturally from families where you never take it away from them. Each other two my policies where I'm watching a free education. Free education. To go to one classroom, one of the 400, where I can't get a private school, but it went. The gap here for teacher, who got a twenty, the four hundred, and the four hundred. One I shook a Sambi Rokas of Engineer Katakachan, Chazam. Where I can't get a book, I can't get a full of people. If a Chano Chena So it is in that context. That even today, prophets like you, when I follow my uniforms, prophets like you, when I follow my collar, prophets like you, when I follow MCF Kale, God is saying he has called you at a time such as this. And you have to stand up and speak against injustice, and you cannot only speak if you cannot work. Where is UCZ? Where is your money by MCF? Pan to convene and the battle and to son came here this year to fill up for my MCF for a letter and to cool a quest school remote to study congest one school in one particular community. So that even when you go to the state and you say to be carried for school, 
they can as well look at the, the efforts that you've made. That's how we can equalize all these things. And today, kase seba liko nga Yezaya, ni mwa wabele mweba isa mkifuala my uniform. No wonder scripture is saying, arise and shine for your light as he come. But to light, he should have a lot of people who are not going to know. That is what I meant. So, yeah, I meant so. Yeah, I suck. Once I told our woman that way, in Bogota, no book is one of the shiny. Yes, you are too la. But Roman, I shiva, Ukutila, what will make me survive? The Wundangani. What will make me survive? I have to do A, B, C, D. What will make me survive is what Bishop Gondo preached. What will make me survive is what other preachers preached. And when you get that, by power and the thunder, I hear my brother say that, definitely we shall conquer. And we are not going to see the situation as it is. David has waited all that long to transform the UCZ and transform all the communities. So we are not intimidated the I cannot say anything here because I'm new and I don't want people to see to appear as though I'm pushy or I'm doing this and this. Today, once you get those uniforms, you are as good as those who were badged a long time ago. You are MCF members. From that point, take up the mantle and make sure that you contribute to the kingdom of God. You must arise. Tell your neighbor, arise, arise. And, shine. and shine, for your light has come. For your light has come. The other issue, apart from poverty, structural injustice, it is the way we live our lives. Self-affirming. Some of us, the Kumanga and where we've come from, we are the contributors to what we see, the gloomy side of life in our country and in our homes. Some of us, especially us male parents, our methods of parenting them brought disaster. Why am I believing that we have got a corporal punishment? It is the way to collect and whip a child in life. But why are we not going to overdo? To an extent where we are pushing another kashi, another never never lula. Now we are going to cover kashi. Why I shall never have a chula ten, but what is the wrong one? Akash to which I estimate we have to fear with somebody at Chalo Panch. Pantum one, not a fishy. Well, what is Miss Amogata of Santa Domu Kashi? What a cheap of Monava and no other one in that. These are unfortunate situations. So that's one problem that we have. The other problem, the street kids we see. It is us who've contributed to that. Akale, we lived a life, a communal way of living, where my brother was my brother, a child of my brother was my child. But this time around, to a more quick and a chinamun to palua way. And that's one cancer that is causing all these terrible things. Now, the Moroni Shapa seems to feel something that time with an Ethiopian Shalanda. It is in that context. That Isaiah is speaking now that arise and shine for your light as he And when the light comes, we go back. However, the question is, to a light and in a family situation as groomy as it is, what we ought to do. Kuli ima la MCF. Na tukule chikope chakwa Ezekiel, the prophet. The children of Israel were in exile. And we all know that in exile, in exile, life as a slave is hopeless life. Life where one cannot see light at the end of the tunnel. Where one thinks his human rights cannot be respected. Those who've taken you captive, they have a right to dictate how you live your life. Those who've taken you captive, they have a right to tell you when to eat. Those who've taken cap you captive, they have a right to tell you when you pass. Those who've taken you captive, they have a right to deny you a right to a salary. Those who've taken you captive,
They have a right to control your life. And the children of Israel were in that situation. And as they went there in the exile, they had even known that us, I think, this is the end. No one will ever take us out of this situation. And moreover, we've come in this situation because we went against God. And God, according to scripture, when God is hungry with you, when God is not happy with you, he says, I will remove my face. And once I remove my face, you will be vulnerable and susceptible to any attack. And you never live a life where on your own you can survive. And they live that hopeless life. And in their minds, they knew we will never come out of this situation. And the others who knew we've already offended God, they are giving relaxed on prayer, relaxed on every religious thing. For those who read the Psalm 137, you hear the psalmist saying, actually, why was he in, in exile? These guys are even singing songs, songs that brings the, the, the hopelessness out. They bring it out to a point where even a person who's seated there is able to feel how they are feeling. They are saying, they are in Babylon, by the rivers of Babylon, where we sat down. When those who are taken as captive, they came to us and they asked us to sing one pop song, the song of Zion. We said, how can we do it? How can we do it? This God has forsaken us. So you are able to see that kind of hopelessness. It is within that hopelessness. Did we talk to Ezekiel? Come, for I want you to do something. Sometimes visions. And when they were talking, he was talking to God. And what do you see? I see bones of people who died a long time ago. Some of these bones, some of these bones, I have a very dry. And God asked Ezekiel a question. Ezekiel, can these bones live again? Science and biology, this is practically impossible. Those who are medical doctors here, they will tell you, once you are dead, you are gone. They certify, they certify you dead. There is no way you can resurrect. But what science says, it cannot work. It is very possible with the Almighty God. Yes. And the God, God he told Ezekiel to say, mortal man, what do you see again? That I see these bones. They are very dry. Can they have life again? Ezekiel said, no, it's not even possible. Even if they say you are a God of possibilities, but I don't see how dry bones can have life again. And God said, yes, mortal man, prophesy right now. Tell them, command the bones to have life. Tell the bones, command the bones. And he started, he's saying, I started prophesying. And in his prophecy, he preached a small sermon. Like the sermons that Reverend Siam preaches in 10 minutes and he rests his case. He simply said in his sermon, no preamble, no exegesis. He simply said, we were right away, he saw things happening. That uh, as he was there, he described the situation to say, I saw wind coming from the east. I saw wind coming from the west. I saw wind coming from the north. And I saw wind coming from the west, from the south. And when this wind came, I saw something that appeared like confusion. Because there I could feel the strong wind brewing. As it grew, I saw things happening. When I saw bones coming out from the grave, and they started, each bone started going wherever it, it would fit. 
at the end of the day, I saw tendons coming and flesh coming. Before I finished seeing whatever I was seeing, I saw dry bones turning into human beings, very beautiful, created in the image of God, and I was surprised. But I asked God, what's the meaning of this dream? God said, in the highs of Israel, as they are in exile, to me they appear as though they are dead, they are hopeless. And everyone who's looked at them has already certified that they are dead. Certified dead and buried. Others, they think, they will never even come out of the graves once again. But I'm about to recreate Israel. For I'm bringing a new spirit. Tell your neighbor, I'm bringing a new spirit. I'm a new and I'm bringing a new heart. I cannot hear you. I'm bringing a new spirit. I'm bringing a new spirit. And I'm bringing a new heart. And I'm bringing a new heart. And I'm bringing a new heart. But I'm not dry bones to the land up. If we buy a week alone, who are Paranga or Rachel Rondo? Why are we buying a car to a report in Pia, but our Patomote? Who are Putilla, Urupia, who don't talk at the hotel in Barasa, Pivida? Who chingila a cavolala, a full offense? Offense, but it's a little enough, a week of Leza wire. Leza wire, a little enough, a toga with a pomma grass. A little enough, a week of electric fence. Tahiri inafu, ate kemua. Brefi kurufi teka chikalipa fina. Tahiri inafu, ashita pisto. Tahiri inafu, ale koku lala. Ala shitape ngala la kupa anono, ayusu na pawi ndo kumona waka wola langa vale? Vale isi. Tahiri inafu, apanda nungwanga wapu ichi ngirila. Tahiri inafu, ashita imbroi na malonda. Usha mtu ni ishitare chula, Wawana fweba lehe ilisha nyo kutila Ina nisha kwa tapa kumo kukoko Loko wa kufunyo lupia Nileleosa uka Mwamele ninka lila Life is ili kuino Mwamele nane kena nchito Ine I know that the situation now is hopeless There is no way I can come out of this situation Others will say Bali insula na kalye Ifwe tuwa linua sana Like one gentleman I was hearing a story of one guy who knew the taste of all the beers that he was given water, but then we had one one she won one, and then also when the down when I shall walk before. Ali Sulwa. We are coming from homes where even your wife and the kids, maybe they even knew that nothing good can come out of you. And even where you work. They've maybe just kept you for the sake of you keeping going so that you get your pension. And life out there, when you look at yourself, maybe it's one mistake you made. Your wife still keeps on hammering on the same thing. I think this word has come to you that a dry bone can once again have life because God is doing it, new things. And you are the people that God has called. No matter the situation, it's a God who recreates. Arise and shine and be confident. If they remind you of bad things, sing WCF song. As you go back, the Awela Hitra, Awela Nani, in short, till I will only put on our Patagon of Mutin de Panon. Navarava Tora is short of Kunstom Kayabatuka. As you go back, you are that dry bone that God now has recreated with a good spirit and a good heart. You go there when they see you, when they want to scamper. Oh, Mukaya Moneke, that Muka, they are you are Saduka, no man in China, man. So I want to tell you, I'm going 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 to tell you, I'm going
and they expected the physical challenge person who kawena the satamu te mwana ngupa no no na treatment ba leva pela ni treatment ya utila na uro afiala muri na situation they must feel it that indeed if what was fiaru akwe fia kusana but this is a person we see every day people used to see this man but one amazing thing and one lesson that you pick from here whether it's some fiaru is that that day there was a crowd of people that followed Jesus Christ. And I'm sure the crowd that had followed Jesus Christ are the people with many characteristics. Number one from that crowd, they were people who might have followed Jesus Christ because they might have heard the news that is the one who fed 5,000 people. Number two, the crowd that followed Jesus Christ, the crowd that might have followed, followed Jesus Christ, it must have been a group of people. From the crowd, from the crowd, from the crowd, there must have been people who followed to go and listen to the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. And yet, from scripture, but alone the Rakuri Matthew, one extraordinary individual, and that person was born blind. His name not mentioned, they've only mentioned the name of the father, trying to show that he was insignificant. But however, an insignificant person, a person who had no history to write home about, a person who was a beggar, a person who was not even well known even by the writer. That's a gentleman who ate Jesus' passing there. He started shouting. Jesus, Son of God, please, Jesus, Son of God. As he was shouting, hear what the crowd was saying. Shut up, you are making noise. We have our business to deal with this, Jesus. And when Jesus heard and saw the attitude of the crowd towards that man, he felt pity. And he said, kindly bring him. And can you hear? Are we together? And Jesus instantly gave him light. He healed that gentleman. To you who've come to MCF, each age, especially in the UCZ, the UCZ is made up of many, many people that have come to this church. But mind you, never Jesus. But what am I agenda to change? What am I saying? We should have feeling the same change. What am I saying? We change. But I should be able to change the people. What am I saying? We change. But now we have to be able to change the people. What am I saying? We change. Am I saying we put it on? That's more than what I should be able to do. What am I saying? We change. Now my agenda is that we are not even going to be able to change the people. Now we are saying that those are people you find in the church. When Jesus is calling you, they will be pulling you down. Those are people who will say a lot of things. If you are a dog, you are a son of a But if you are a man, you are a man. 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 Arise and shine for your light as in. You are here to work for God and not humanity. Forget about what they know. Every day, you go to Java. Now, we are going to take a story anywhere. I read one story, very fascinating, and at the same time, it causes laughter, and at the same time, it is mind-boggling. Over philosopher, we are going to look at it. It's a law. I want to go and say, to end the notion of two people. I can't show that I'm going to go and touch it. I'm going to go and touch it. Then, you know, you have to follow two. I'm going to sing it every time. Akacho la kakunta nchi, emo tubike firu wofia wa mungi nefu. Aka akunu ma, emo tubike firu wofia esu. Mbata ndevele, kana tena ye, tika nshetu changu nkila. It is very easy, umuntu kumone firu wofia enu, patu akacho la kakwa vi kilo kwa veda me. Ewa limina, akacho la kakwa vi senu, na mbina zipu yari, yari, yari yonai kano kui sula isula. Kwa isula, na wami mwana mwafi, na wafi, ah, ye ule hafi anava, na pala wale inge na mwafi, na wafi sana. Na wami mwana mwafi, na wafi, na wafi, ah, ye ule hafi, Kerja ni yang tak pernah punya. Dah ada kerja ni, baik sana. Ah, mesti tiba-tiba pon ini nak parut pemain. Dah baik sana, baik sana. 
Ushabuli <laughs> So in Shitana, he said, Lova MCF. Chiramuntu, I would have a couple of good times. I had a bed in Abbas and Bia, but not to have an uncle. Arise and shine for your right as in one below one below. I don't say I want to try to shine. Hello, Muntue. Now, if you are, I will have to join a web MCF. Now, wherever I say, no, but what we have to be. Finafine mwa tusanga, ulata ata yesu mwa ufila leti la isa mwa na wandi. Eo mkwonke fie. Na mwala mwa kuna nwane shakali shiba pepo. Mwa mwa kuna nwane shakali chai chisaki taru wangu kuta. Mwa nwane shakali wa treasure. You look at this other person. You want also to see and smell what other people are cooking next to the door. You will lose your relevance. You will not actually get what you follow the air. Mind your own business. Get focused. Be in your track, on your own, run your race. Let the rest of the people run their own race. And if anything, the only responsibility a Christian has, it's a responsibility to check on your friends, do Bible study together, and if it is erroneous, please try to control, but do not over control, because who, a person who changes anybody, it is God. Even you who mentor the other MCF, do not feel bad when you hear they've stopped coming to MCF. And then you say, I'm abandoning this. I'm stopping. I will no longer be a tutor. Everybody that have tutored, they've run away. No, your responsibility is to tutor. What happens with them? So maintain your lane. A Christian. Ngawali kashimika Wieko kushimika E muli mwaperwa Bomba Kumbo So Echi sankala So Echi achitika nomba chiku mumieo Yekunga mwaya and show Christ and let the radiance of Christ shine wherever you are. Each of them will be a quarter of a match a charity. I have to unfold a favor Christian son and be humble in your execution of your duties and be loving, be gentle, be obedient. And make sure that uh, you pick all those elements that will make you a true Christian. Christian. Lesa ewe tilele elo ni mwe. And you are being caught at a time such as this. Akale mwe usizeli kwa lehi mba kola sukutila shani. Kwa ya vengi muli wa mayo. Mwe Yesu ni mwe mwanso kwe. Come on, MCF, we sing together. Kwa ya vengi, one, two, three, four. Kwa ya vengi muli wa mayo. Mwe Yesu ni mwe mwanso kwe. Kwa ya vengi mugo kukrabu. Mwe Yesu ni mwe mwanso kwe. Kwa ya vengi fwe vale kumabakashi. Where is <laughs> So God has called you and he wants you to make a difference to go to club and wherever and call others receiving knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.